right. Hello. Hi, hi. And hello to you. We are, we're doing good though. <laughs> First of all, we're going to take a little, real quick detour and then we're going to get to programming. Let me take our detour. I'm going to click run. You don't have to do this. I'm just demonstrating something. Here's our game. I come into the remote tab. I don't remember how many episodes ago it was, but I called these over here instances in one episode. And I thought it would even show me the word instance. There we go. So my husband's also a programmer and he came home and he was like, that's not an instance, that's an object. And I'm like, nope, that's an instance. I've never heard this called an object before. What are you talking about? So a long time, a lot of fighting, a lot of Googling, and a lot of asking other programmers. Some people apparently do call these objects. Something that is instantiated at runtime sometimes gets called an object. I've never heard it called an object. He's never heard it called an instance. I'm going to continue saying instance because I'm right. But if, if you've heard object, that's not wrong. And if you say object, that's not wrong either. Let me shut this down. So we're going to refactor a little bit of our code, meaning we're just going to rewrite it to be a little bit slicker. I'm going to go into question box and I'm going to click over here to get to question box.gd. This works and it works great. We can make this just a little bit slicker, nicer. You'll see it. I'm going to write two new functions. Func question is right. Pass for now. And function question is wrong and pass for now. Whoop. Here's my beautiful plan. If the question's right, what do we want it to do? All of this, right? So let's just cut it. It doesn't matter. Control X. It'll yell at me. That's fine. Question is right. See so where it's got pass. We're going to replace it with everything I just cut and I will have to fix the indents. That's that is okay. Cool. I'm going to let that yell at me for a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not. Watch this. If I just call question is right. Question is right. Then if we're in this if block and button one is right, it'll going to go, oh, you want me to run this? And it's going to come down here and run this code. A lot of times when you have code that's copy pasted like we do, you want to pull it out into its own function. So let's keep going. This is also very replaceable. I thought there was another. No, there's not another place. That's fine. We can do the same thing with question is wrong. So see where it says that isn't right. Sorry. Cut it. Question is wrong. Replace it with all of this. Hello. And then else, same exact thing. Question is wrong. Then I can replace this also with hello. Don't do that. Question is wrong. So this runs exactly the same, or it should. Here, let's run the scene just to prove it. Did I use signals? Yes, I got it right. Does good OU signals? No. See, it still works. One nice thing about doing it this way is let's pretend that I had, what if I wanted it to play a sound? What if I wanted it to show a picture? What if I want it to, you get the idea. It's now easier. I can just change one place. That's not a real thing. It's going to yell at me, but let's pretend. I can just change one place instead of having to hunt out every single little spot where I might want that to happen. 
Let me actually show you one of my other projects. Hold tight. It's in Godot 3.5. There it is. And so like I make my Godot's different colors so I don't get them mixed up. But this is a similar code. You can see where it's got the on button press and I've got right answer, wrong answer. If you wanted, this is how you would do more than one question. So like I've got four buttons in this one. And I've set the right answer up as an enum instead of like just the bool ticky box. And in ready, I decided I wanted my answers randomized. So there I called randomize. Um, I've got an array of correct answers. That's a print just to make sure we shuffle them and then we write them to the button text and then we set so that we've got which one is right. Right answer and wrong answer. I don't have it as question is right. I've got it as right answer and wrong answer in this code example. But because I've got four buttons, it's much nicer to change it in one spot instead of four but or four spots. So this code is Godot 3.5 and you can borrow it totally and you can convert it to Godot 4 if that's what you want. I'm going to be keeping our board game just a two answer thing just for the sake of the tutorial. Anyway, that is all I have for you this week. You have an excellent one and you take it easy. Thank you.